it's rare to see Tamron Hall sporting anything but her megawatt smile. The beloved TV personality has garnered a highly respected career in the entertainment industry thanks to her captivating nature, but she didn't rise to the top without facing a few challenges along the way. Here's why Tamron Hall is still turning heads. Tamron Hall didn't have it easy growing up, but she's grateful for her humble upbringing in Luling, Texas. She told the Digital Journal, It was a great childhood, a childhood that I would not trade for anything in the world. It looks small, but for me, it was the center of the universe. She went on to enroll at Temple University, where she received her Bachelor of Arts in Broadcast Journalism. After bouncing around between local stations in Texas, she landed in the Chicago area, reporting for a Fox affiliate where she interviewed then-Senator Barack Obama. Hall was nominated for an Emmy in 1999. Just as Hall cemented her status in the industry, she endured a devastating loss. In 2004, her older sister Renata was brutally killed at her home in Houston, Texas. Hall told People in 2016, No one deserves what happened to my sister. For a long time, I was hesitant about sharing our story. I didn't want to be another well-known person saying, look what happened to me and my family. But because of the nature of Renata's death, Hall felt compelled to speak out. She explained that her sister had spent years in relationships with abusive men. At the time, Renata was involved with one specific man, who was later named in the investigation of her death as the only person of interest. He was never arrested due to lack of evidence, and Renata's case remains an unsolved homicide. We are certain um, we know who was responsible. If you or someone you know is dealing with domestic abuse, please call or chat with the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233 or www.thehotline.org. After losing her sister, Hall kept hustling, eventually landing a job with MSNBC. And in 2009, she worked as a correspondent during NBC News coverage of former President Barack Obama's inauguration. History was there in front of you, and history for the first time looked like me. Even though she won an Emmy for her coverage of Obama's road to presidency, Hall proved that multiple gigs and awards just weren't enough when she added another credit to her resume in 2013. As the host of Deadline, Crime with Tamron Hall, the journalist investigated the possible reasons as to why people commit these horrible acts. She dedicated the program to her sister, Renata. After years of praise for her reporting, Hall made history in 2014 when she landed a spot as co-anchor on NBC's Today. The star, who was a frequent fill-in at the news desk, became the first black woman to serve as host of the show. There are days where I look through my phone at all of the celebrity selfies and moments on the show that we've snapped. It's like, that happened? After just three years, however, Hall appeared to be saying goodbye to NBC. The network called the alum, quote, an exceptional journalist in a statement at the time, adding, We valued and enjoyed her work at Today and MSNBC and hoped that she would decide to stay. We are disappointed that she has chosen to leave, but we wish her all the best. According to Good Housekeeping, Hall left NBC after reports broke that Megyn Kelly had been tapped to replace her in the third hour. Fortunately, bigger things were in store for the star. You're coming into our community, you're coming into our house, so let's talk about it. Since parting ways with NBC, Hall certainly hasn't slipped out of the spotlight, and she took the reins on her future when she landed her talk show, The Tamron Hall Show, which debuted in 2019. The show was an instant success, and after two seasons, Walt Disney Television renewed the series. Hall reacted to the news, sharing in a statement, Tam fam, thank you for giving us the space and grace to have a real conversation every day. Life is about the tough talks, but for me, more than anything else, it's about having an honest, fair, and open discussion where we can laugh, learn, and find hope together. In addition to remaining a beloved host on our TV screens, Hall has seen big changes in her personal life in recent years, too. In April 2019, she gave birth to her son, Moses, with her husband, Steve Greener. She posted on Instagram, Moses and Mama, I can't wait to introduce y'all to my sunshine. Photo credit, Dad who can't stop crying tears of joy. Hall first revealed the news of her pregnancy just one month before Moses arrived. The star, who struggled to conceive for years through IVF, said she waited until she was 32 weeks along when her doctor notified her that she was, quote, in a safe place. 
In her pregnancy announcement, she also revealed she had tied the knot with Greener. She said, My husband Stephen and I are beyond excited. We're in constant prayer. So if you pray, add us to your list. If you meditate, send calmness our way. And if you believe in luck, we'll happily take that too. I feel like Aladdin and you're on the carpet and you just lay back and just say, all right, let me float where I need to go <laughs> yeah. because I can't control anything. Since welcoming their little one, Paul has turned her attention to her family. But while she has her hands full these days as a hardworking mom, Paul has learned to appreciate the chaos. She told People in 2019, It's not tidy, and I'm not trying to make it tidy, and I think the more I embrace that, the better I feel about myself. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebrities are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.